Well, this was unexpected. I mean, look, we all knew that JP was going to be getting a new BoJack movie, LR Gohan, next. But that made sense, since they just had the STR BoJack banner, right? But Global is coming off the LR Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta banner. And the only logical next unit would have been Tech LR Jiren, right? Since we're on this Tournament of Power Universe Survival Saga arc on Global. But instead, both sides are going to be getting this Gohan at the same time, and I don't really know how to feel about these guys. I mean, to be fair, I just woke up, and I'm still processing this new information, this new reality we're in right now. And overall, I would say I'm very happy. For sure, I'm very happy for global mains like me, because it's always more exciting to get a new unit that you didn't see coming, that you weren't expecting, versus a very hype still, like Jiren's great, right? He's amazing, but you know we already knew he was coming for a long time, so it's not nearly as hype as this Gohan. But at the same time, this kind of this, this kind of throws Global's timeline all out of whack, right? Like we don't really know what to expect anymore. Like, are we gonna continue the TOP arc after this Gohan and get Jiren and the transforming Angel Golden Frieza? And, you know, hopefully the easy A is for Topo and Dispo and Yell and Khalifla. Or are we going to go in a different direction? Are we, are we going to get, like, Bojack next? Because we got the Gohan? Like, what's going on? I don't, I don't really know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of confusing. I'm confused. I mean, I get it. They wanted to make Christmas exciting for Global, right? So I think that's why they decided to drop this guy simultaneously. But it is a little bit strange. Anyways. I could go on for a while, just give me some time to think about this, because uh, it was, like I said in the beginning of this video, very unexpected. And uh, yeah, Tech LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is coming, is the next LR on both Global and JP. And uh, before we get into the details, uh, he's very good by the way, very, very good. Let's watch his animations together. Okay, so I'm gonna turn up the music. Let me actually turn off my music. And here we go. Oh, let's go to the beginning. Okay, here we go. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, it's the combination of the music and the voice acting. And I mean, look, I, I, I don't mind the voice acting. I've heard, I've heard some people complain about it and, and all that stuff. I think it's fine. I think, I think it's fine. It sounds good to me. Um, is, is, is the JP voice better? Probably. But hey, look, it's all good. And the animations... Ah, oh, yo, they look so clean, man. So clean. I love it. I love it. Yo, it, even if I didn't know what his details were, which of course I do, I know how good he is, I, I would have had to summon just for that. Just just for these animations, just for that active skill. Just for that OST, man. That that These OSTs just keep getting better and better and better. My God, man. I, what else can I say? What else can I say? I, I think I think he's dope. I think he's dope. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Uh, there might be some mixed reactions to these animations. I, I can see it. I can see it. I can see some people not enjoying them, which is okay. We all have different opinions, right? We all have different characters we like. I'll have different preferences. 
we're all different people. I'm a big fan. I'm a big, big fan. Okay, let me turn on my music once again. And, uh, yeah. Let's move on to the details. So, of course, they posted them on Instagram, or sorry, uh, Twitter, right, right here. But it's really hard for you guys to see, right? So I'll show you guys the actual card stuff. But we're going to pop over to the Dokkan Wiki, where they have everything, you know, big for everybody to see, right? So you guys can follow along. So, uh, Tech Gohan, Earth Protecting Flash, Super Saiyan 2, Youth Gohan. Leader skill is Movie Heroes, Category Key plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 130%, or Super Tech Types, Key plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 100%. He has two Super Attacks, of course, 12 Key is Soaring, Dragon, Havoc, and 18 Key is Brilliant Strike. The 12 Key raises Attack and Defense for one turn, causes Colossal Damage, and greatly lowers enemy's defense. And the 18 key raises defense for one turn, so kind of weird how he only raises defense on the 18 key, whereas the 12 key raises attack and defense. I mean, there's been other units that do that, but I just I would have preferred if he raises attack and defense on both, you know? But it is what it is. Uh, causes mega colossal damage and massively lowers defense. And then the passive is so these 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 passes are getting ridiculous man like they're becoming novels like before in the past it was like attack plus 5000 defense plus 1000 or something like that or like key plus 1 you know defense attack and defense plus you know 100% and that's it but now like look at this this is crazy uh, attack and defense plus 58% plus an additional key plus 1 per key sphere obtained so that's kind of like the int LR Gohan effect where you get double the key, basically, and you get three key for same type orbs, right? Plus an additional attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack plus 58% when performing an ultra super attack, medium chance of launching an additional attack, plus an additional attack plus 59%, an attack becomes a critical hit when performing an ultra super attack if HP is 58% or less, with a movie hero's category ally whose name includes Goku, youth excluded, on the team starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle. Okay, so let's just break this down real quick. So he's getting 58% attack and defense. The start, he's getting key plus one for every key sphere obtained, so he's gonna be getting his 18 key all the time. Like super, super easy, just like int LR Gohan. And he's also a bit of a nuker, attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained on top of this boost right here and then if you're doing an ultra super attack which is an 18 key super which like i said he's going to be getting all the time then he's getting an additional attack plus 58 percent and then he also has that medium chance of launching an additional super attack which is like like the gobros basically right you have a medium chance of about 25 percent i believe yeah 25 percent chance so every you know fourth turn or fourth attack he'll be getting double supers possibly triple if you have dupes in him and uh then he has, you have this part where if you pass the fifth turn or on the fifth turn or, or beyond, and you have a Goku on your team, and you are also below 58% HP, then you get an additional attack plus 59% and uh, a guaranteed critical. Okay, so um, that's really good. That's a great passive right there. Before I say anything else about him, let's talk about his active skill. So his active skill is Promise Made to Dad, can be activated when HP is 58% or less with a movie hero's category ally whose name includes Goku on the same team and then starting from the fifth turn from start of battle and the effect is key plus 12 so I mean since he's getting so much key anyways from orbs like double key and all that stuff uh, this pretty much guarantees you like a 24 key super in most in most situations right and then attack plus 59% for one turn and his links our Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Gaze of Respect, All in the Family, Prepare for Battle, Shattering the Limit, Legendary Power, and Categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Full Power, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Youth, Bond of Master and Disciple, Super Saiyan 2, Exploding Rage, and All Out Struggle. And his links, or sorry, his uh, stats at max potential at, at rainbow status, 21,713 HP, uh, 21,780 attack and 13,594 defense. Now I know a lot of people aren't gonna be able to get him to that point, but uh, just you know, just so you know, all right. And some additional information here: 
His additional 58% attack when performing an ultra super attack is calculated separately for a boost of 149.64% attack. And then on top of that, he's also getting attack plus 11.6% per key sphere obtained. Okay, so as long as you're doing an ultra super, he's actually starting out with this boost as opposed to 58 plus 58 because of the way it's calculated. And they were getting 11% attack per key sphere on top of that. And then his active skill is also calculated separately. They always are, right? Every active skill is calculated separately. So an additional attack plus 58%. Wait, so yeah, so you get the 59% from his active skill, and then also the 59% from his passive when you fall below 59% HP right here, right? So wait, I'm getting the numbers confused. When you fall below 58% HP with the movie Heroes Goku from the fifth turn, you get that additional 59% attack, you get the 59% attack from the active skill, and he's actually getting 445.15% attack, plus the additional 24.15% attack per key sphere obtained. Of course, this is only once, right? Because you can only activate the passive skill or that portion of the active skill as well as your active skill once, right? So on that turn, right, in this situation where you pass the fifth turn, you're on or beyond the fifth turn, you are below 50... 8% HP, you have a movie heroes category Goku on your team, he's going to be the hardest hitting unit in the game. For that one turn, right? For that one turn, he's going to be the hardest hitting unit easily. And uh, if you launch an additional super from the passive right here, he's going to hit even harder. You can launch a third super potentially. So like this guy can get really, really crazy for sure. Um, he, he can get absolutely wild on that turn, but outside of like this, you know, situation, he's still going to be very good, right? Because 150% attack to start plus the additional, um, you know, or attack and defense actually, right? Oh, actually, no, just attack because he only gets the additional attack here from Ultra Super, but 150% um, basically attack to start plus 11% attack per key sphere, and he's also getting, you know, a good amount of defense, um, you know, that's... Th that's gonna be crazy like he's gonna be hitting really hard on average but then you know once you meet those conditions he's gonna go off and the only thing I see that's maybe a bit of an issue is his defense um, I haven't seen calculations but it doesn't seem like he's gonna be super tanky he does raise defense on his um, 12 and 18 key super so that's gonna help a little bit but he is essentially getting 58% defense and then 7% defense per key sphere obtained and no other defense I can see so to me, he kind of seems like he's going to be about as tanky as Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, who, I mean, all things considered, actually isn't that tanky, honestly. So yeah, I, I feel like defensively, he's not going to be the best, but offensively, he's going to be very, very good. And I think he's great. I think he's great. I mean, this is one of those situations where I am absolutely certain that he's not the new best unit in the game, right? Like, I would not give him that title. But what I would say is that he's easily top five. He's, he's probably top five in the game. I'm still gonna go for him regardless. And yeah, he looks really good. I mean, I've heard some complaints. I've heard some complaints about his conditions. Um, I don't think it's too bad. I mean, movie heroes, Goku on the team, we have quite a few of those options, right? Let me, let me just check real quick. Okay, movie heroes, Goku. Uh, okay, we got the free-to-play, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, right? We got uh, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. We have, uh, let's see, yeah, this Super Saiyan Blue Goku. We have Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, let's see, yeah, actually, yeah, a couple Super Saiyan 3 Gokus. Ah, uh, Super Saiyan God Goku's, right? A couple of those. And this guy right here. These guys, Stun Ku, and the free to play Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So, like, we, we got quite a few options. STR Super Saiyan 3. We got quite a few options. Um, I think that him and Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku obviously would probably be like the best pairing in this situation. And man, that's gonna be a crazy rotation. Yeah, him and Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku is going to be a fun rotation to run, but even if you guys don't have him, you can run a bunch of Super Saiyan 3 Gokus, um, Super Godku, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, so 
you know, the options are there. I don't think it's going to be too bad. Um, it's one of those situations where, like, you know, like, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, right? He's good by himself. He's much better with a Majin Buu Saga Goku on the team. So it's kind of like that, where, like, you know, this Gohan's still going to be good if you don't have this condition fulfilled, but he's going to be much better with a movie hero's Goku. So I don't think it's too big of an issue. I, I don't mind it too much, but, you know, let me know what you guys feel, how you guys feel about that as well in the comments down below. And uh, that is today's video, man. I, I still need some time to... Just, just take in the fact that Global's getting this at the same time. Like, it's just not, it was not a consideration at all in my mind, you know? And now it's gonna happen. I mean, in terms of release time, I don't think it's gonna be, you know, tomorrow or anything like that. Probably in a couple days. Um, maybe the 15th or 16th or something like that. But we'll see, right? Because there's no official release date at this point in time. Um, but Global and JP will be getting him at the same time. So, whenever that happens, your boy will be live, will be summoning, so look forward to that, and that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, and that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.